Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Ferrari is set to change their car, more information has been revealed about F1 practice sessions, and it seems Mercedes and Aston Martin have identified how they can improve top speed. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Ferrari, who are apparently set to bring a new design to the Yamada Grand Prix. It's not been the best start for the Scuderia this year, with the team suffering a DNF and a lack of pace in Bahrain, while they also fail to show any strong race pace in Jeddah. So it's clear that their car doesn't work, and changes need to be made. And according to the Italian edition of Motorsport.com, Ferrari will bring an upgraded SF23 to their first home race of the season. The main goal of the change is to improve performance at a lower ground limit, with the team spending much of the off-season focus on aerodynamic efficiency to reduce drag. Now these upgrades were planned following the three-week break after the race in Melbourne, but apparently the parts won't be ready in time, which is why they're set to come for Emila. Now as we know, rivals Mercedes have also started to look at a new design, and have even gone as far to say that they have no shame in copying Red Bull, given they're the fastest car right now. Whilst it's unclear what Ferrari will bring to Emila, for me I could see them changing quite a few things in order to find performance. But let's move on to Stefano Domenicali, who caused some controversy when he was quoted as saying that he was in favour of removing practice sessions from the weekend schedule. Now F1 has stuck with the same practice format for a while, with there being three practice sessions before qualifying and the race. This changes slightly when there's a sprint race, with practice sessions being split up between qualifying. But I've got no issue with it. I mean it's a chance for teams and drivers to learn the track and it's important for them to do that. Now according to Planet F1, Domenicali's quotes were misquoted, and the sport has no intention of getting rid of practice sessions. But potential changes to practice sessions have also been put to the F1 commission, and were said to be welcomed positively. Now for me I don't feel much if anything needs to be done. I mean it's only practice at the end of the day, and I don't see the point of trying to turn it into a competitive session. I mean for me trying to improve practice is one of those ideas that just won't work, and as I say I'm happy with the way it is. But let's move on to Aston Martin, who are apparently looking to bring a new upgrade which could reduce drag on their car. Now while Aston Martin take inspiration from Red Bull, their car is also essentially half Mercedes, with the gearbox and rear suspension the same used in the W14. But the transmission seems to be causing issues for Aston Martin. According to Italian publication Formula Uno, the Mercedes specification is bulkier than Red Bull's in the area closest to the floor, which limits airflow through the AMR23's diffuser, and having a less efficient diffuser means the AMR23 needs more rear wing to compensate, which generates more drag. Now apparently Alonso lost about half a second on the straights in Jeddah, which is more than 10 km an hour slower in the speed trap compared to Red Bull. But due to the budget cap, Aston Martin have been choosing to introduce a very similar rear wing in Jeddah compared to Bahrain. But the team are working to fix this issue, with a lower loaded wing anticipated for the Australian Grand Prix, although this could come instead to Baku. Now to think a Mercedes design is actually hindering Aston Martin is quite something, and really does show how far Aston Martin have moved forward this season. But with the weakness identified, it could in turn help Mercedes, who will be working on a solution to solve their top speed. And when they find it, it could help not only themselves, but Aston Martin move forward as well. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.